everybody. I thought I would just have a little change of scenery today. Um, welcome to uh, Monday and today it's Monday Motivation. So we're going to talk about mindset. Monday Motivation and Mindset. Woo so today we're going to talk about the power of our thoughts and how our thoughts control so many things in our lives in the good way um, if, if we allow it and also in the negative and how that can affect the decisions that we make in our life. Um, so first, just as a reminder, I'm Carol Ward and I'm here to help you guys heal your body from the inside out. And um, so let's just jump right in and talk about mindset. First, I wanted to ask you a question. When it comes to business, it comes to your family, it comes to your kids, finances, fitness, exercise, eating healthy, um, gosh, there's so many things. Think about what is your mindset? What is it, are, are you seeing any limitations in your mindset? And, um, and then let's talk about what that says about you as a person and about your thoughts. Not about you in a negative way, but about your thoughts and how your thought life is controlling the decisions that you're making or what you're putting into your mind. And I think one of the things that I think about when I think about my thoughts, because our thoughts are just, are just that. There are thoughts that are not necessarily the truth. And a lot of times they can hold us hostage to a specific belief system. And that belief system might not be true. So it might be telling us, I can't do this. I don't know how. Um, I won't be successful. I, it's, it's never worked before, so why should it work now? I'm not good at that. I'm not good enough. And I always fail at whatever it is. And the truth of the matter is, is that once you have that, that limiting belief in your mind, you're, that controls every, everything that you try to do going forward. And it holds you hostage, it limits you. It prevents you from reaching outside your comfort zone. Hopefully you saw my, um, my little post earlier today about your comfort zone and getting out of your comfort zone. And I think it's important to get out of our comfort zone in a multitude of ways, not just um, taking risks here or there. Although, you know, any risk that you take is gonna be to your, is gonna help you because it's gonna help you branch outside of any kind of limiting beliefs that you have. And the thing I wanna remind people is, is that our lives are short. And the reason that this comes to my mind is that I always think about my mom and um, how my father's passed on and just all the things that aging, how aging changes people. My mom is at that stage now where she feels like she's missed out on a lot of things in her life and she wants to go back and relive them. And I think what I've gained in talking with her about it is that she had fear about doing those things when she was younger. So she never attempted them. So here she is now, she's thinking, man, now, now I wanna do it. Now I'm 78, almost 79, and I'm getting on in age, and now I wanna do these things. But they're things that either A, she doesn't have the money to do, or she just can't because of physical limitations. And so I really encourage people to um, learn, learn how to branch outside your comfort zone by changing your mindset, which we'll talk about in a minute, so that you can take advantage of all that life has to offer instead of living in just a glass bubble or a glass bowl and just staying inside those comfortable walls that hold us from that hold us hostage and keep us from being free so one of the things that i've learned i've had to kind of come out of my own shell and believe me it's not been an overnight experience don't get me wrong i've taken a lot of risks in my life but I've had to overcome a lot of mindset issues too that I've had, limiting beliefs that I've had that have held me back as well. And I want, I remember my mom always saying, you can do anything you set your mind to. We'll see where that mindset shift comes in. You can do anything you set your mind to. It isn't up to anybody else to convince you, make you, force you, or anything of that nature. You have to take responsibility, you have to be ready, and you have to go for it. But a lot of what 
happens in our mindsets that keeps us from having a positive mindset is that we actually are experiencing a lot of fear. And I know I, I experience a lot of fear. Gosh, all you have to do is ask me when I go see the doctor. Um, thanks, Stephanie. I'm glad that you signed on and um, I'm glad it helped. Whenever I go see the doctor, I get really bad fear over something that really never happens. And it's my mindset is that I'm gonna fail over and over and over every time I go. And so I get nervous, I get anxious, my blood pressure goes up. I've talked about this before. But on the flip side, I can have a great mindset when it comes to, you know, tackling something that maybe I haven't tackled before. I did that inflatable race a few weeks back and I was fearful of the very first obstacle and thought about going around it. And I set my mind that I would go and of course I had a support system that helped me. And I just got up and I went and I did it and I overcame my own fears. I overcame those obstacles that get in the way. So I'm gonna try to keep this short because I'm trying to keep it under 15 minutes so that I can um, publish this to YouTube. So you can always check out my YouTube channel and you can also check out um, my blog at carolwardfitness.com. I'll have more details on there. But um, so I just wanted you to remember that you can do anything you set your mind to, but it's up to you to set your mind. And I encourage you to really rewrite those scripts play different tapes in your mind. If your tape says, I can't, I don't know how, I won't be successful, I don't know, um, I never, it's never worked before, I'm not good, I'll fail again. Tell yourself the flip story, change it. Remember I did a video on limiting, limiting beliefs. So write down the old story that you wanna tell yourself, that you've been telling yourself, and then go and write the truth. So when you write down the old story, write it in pencil, and underneath, write in pen what the truth is. The truth is that you can, you will, you, you have the tools, you have people to support you, you have love, you don't have to worry. I'm gonna just say one more thing. The fear that holds us back the most is usually the fear of what other people think. It's going to be, what are they going to think if I fail? What are they going to think if I don't, um, if, I, if I can't do it or if I give up? Um, what are they going to think if I'm not successful? Anything that you take a risk at doing is already a success because you tried it. And if you failed at it, then you learned something from it that you could take and apply later in your life. You can't fail at taking, at taking a risk. You can only succeed and you can only, you know, move forward. So I really hope that um, that helps you guys in creating a better mindset, a mindset that'll help you in dealing with your kids, that'll help you in dealing with your health, with making right choices, um, help you with fitness, if that's important to you, will help you in your career goals, instead of just staying where you are in a small box, to help you move beyond that. Um, I've done that in my career. I've done that in my fitness life. Believe me, for the longest time in my fitness life, I remember thinking I could never stick with a meal plan, I could never stick with a workout, and I could never lose the weight because it never really worked before. And then I did. I lost 22 pounds and I kept it off. And it was because I had support system, I had a coach, and I had all the tools I, I needed. But not only just in health and fitness, I have done it in other areas of my life forever and a day. I remember I could not, I remember being fearful of speaking in public. And then um, what happened was is I took a speech class in college and I thought, oh my gosh, this is horrible. And then, after that, I just decided I got I had an opportunity presented to me to teach a quit smoking class. I'd never smoked, much less talked in front of that many people, and it scared the bejesus out of me. But I just said, I'm gonna do this because I wanna take a risk and see where it goes. The pay was nothing, but it was me trying to get out of my own way. And I did, and my very first class, I had 45 people. I had to talk in front of, and it scared me, but it fueled me and it allowed me to overcome my fear. Little did I know then that that would actually propel me into my sales career. I thought I would never be in sales. It's another thing I feared and pretty much everything I have feared, I've overcome because it, my life has changed 
more toward that thing, that thing that I feared the most. So, and it's all been in a good way. So, so the story is, is that I actually ended up um, getting an opportunity to interview for a sales position as one of my, one of the companies I was working for, part of that job was going away. And so it was the only way I could stay with the company. And I remember them telling me I had to sell them something. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, I don't know what to sell. People were selling toilet paper and pens to the sales director. And I knew he was a smoker and I taught quit smoking. So I went in and I pitched quitting smoking. And it was my very first interview with a sales opportunity and I got the job. So you never know where that, um, that mindset of defeat can, what it can keep you from. And where if you eliminate that mindset of defeat in your mind, how it can propel you in your life. It, it honestly, it has taken me from working a desk job years ago to working independently. And so it's a great thing. So I really hope that this is encouraging you to look at what is your mindset? What are your thoughts telling you about yourself? And how can you change those thoughts? Because you are awesome and you are beautiful and you are wonderful and you do deserve everything that anyone else has. Those things just don't come naturally to people. They have to work for it. And you deserve to have the same opportunity to work at those, work for those things too. So thank you guys for tuning in. Again, the details will be in my blog later tonight at carolwardfitness.com. And if I went over, I'm sorry. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Take care. Bye.